Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Red X podcast, the show where we explore the latest strategies, tools, and insights to supercharge your real estate business. I'm your host today, Andrew, and today we have a very, very special guest with us. Please welcome back to the show, Jay Baruby. Jay, how are you doing today? What's up, Drew? I'm doing great, and uh, thank you for, uh, for letting me know that I'm a very special guest. I appreciate that. Always, always, Jay. Um, we're it's excited nice to, to feel have special. You. Yeah, yeah, you bet. Well, we're excited to have you on the show. Uh, Jay, uh, for those watching, Jay is a return guest. So if you like what he has to say today, please go check out his other episodes. We've done, I think, two or three of them in the past, and they're, they're always a real treat. So um, today, though, we are going to be talking about one of the hottest topics right now in any industry, which is artificial intelligence, specifically leveraging AI and tools like ChatGPT to stay ahead of the competition to streamline your business and ultimately supercharge everything you do in real estate, right? So we've got a lot of good stuff coming your way. First, just a few quick reminders for our audience. As always, if you're joining us live on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, wherever, this is a participatory event. If you have questions for Jay, uh, if you have any comments, uh, anything that you wanna chime in, please, please, please put that in the chat uh, and we will do our best to get those answered. Uh, and if you don't have any questions, that's great. Just let us know where you're from, say hi, uh, and, and we're excited to have you. Uh, and then as always, make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel uh, so that you can get notifications anytime we go live. We do this every Thursday. So check that out. Uh, Jay, let's get into it. I wanna start uh, by kicking off on just kind of an overview of the topic of AI, right? I've been watching it very closely. Personally, I use tools like ChatGPT almost every day, professionally, personally. But what's interesting to me uh, as we've been getting into it is there's a lot of kind of conflicting messaging out there, right? It seems like there's a spectrum and people are either super jazzed about it or maybe they're a little bit scared of it or they're not sure what to do with it. Um, so my first question for you is, you know, what would you tell someone to introduce them to AI or to, to you know, help get them excited about this? Um, and, and, and what do you think about it? Sure. Um, so great question, Andrew. Um, and let me start off by saying that, um, that this is not going away. It's, mm. uh, it's just the beginning. And AI uh, is not something new to the world and it's not something mm. new to the industry. Um, Zillow's been using AVMs, autom automated uh, valuation models for their estimates for years. Mm. And those are based on data and digital images. Um, CoreLogic um, helps uh, AI match buyers to homes on their unique preferences. Compass uses this in their CRM to notify agents with hot buyers. So it's nothing that's new. It's just new to us. Right. That's all. In November 2022 is when ChatGPT um, launched, right? Mm. Uh, open to the public. And the, the really not interesting thing, but I'd say the mind blowing uh, stat is that in just five days, that's all it took is five days to reach one million users. Let wow. me put that in perspective. It took Twitter two years to reach 1 million users, right? That's crazy, yeah. This So this is moving extremely fast. And yes, it can be overwhelming and confusing for anyone. I mean, especially mm. real estate agents. You know, I've been a real estate agent for about 20 years. And, it, you know, we get, it, we tend to get hyper-focused in what we're doing and we try to not get distracted. Mm. Am I right? Right, so right, right. this could be viewed as something that's a distraction when in fact it's a must. It's like the steam engine, uh, airplanes, the invention of fire. This is something that is going to change the way that we do business. It is the changing the way that we do business. And, yeah. it's, and the tools are now available to us. Right, right. Okay, so, so kind of starting high level, what are, um, and I'm sure we'll get into each of these, uh, you know, m more granularly, specifically as we as the show goes on, but um, what are some ways that agents can implement tools like ChatGPT and artificial intelligence um, to help their business without getting distracted? Because I think that's a, a very legitimate concern um, in any, any industry, in any business, but especially for agents where they have to stay focused um, and new tools, whether it's something like Red X or maybe a new CRM or whatever, 
can throw them for a little bit of a loop and set them back a little bit. Um, what is your advice on, on helping agents not get distracted, but utilizing this to its full potential? You know, Andrew, there were over a thousand new tools released just last week in the AI world. Yeah. So yes, it can be very confusing and overwhelming. And even Elon Musk, uh, like some others who are calling for a pause uh, in with open AI and mm. uh, signing petitions, uh, that can be confusing, right? But at the same time, he's building his own AI called Truth GPT. So it's easy for us to kind of fall into the categories of what the heck is happening and where do I start? So the first piece of advice I would give is identify what is going to make the biggest impact in your business and write that down. Which mm -hmm. area? Is it in, uh, is it in sales, uh, you know, like generating more leads? Is it in efficiency and productivity? What gaps do you have in your business right now? And that's the first thing you need to do is figure out what that is, because it's all about baby steps. Mm -hmm. What do they say? What's the best way to eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Right. Yeah. So we want to start, start with the first bite. Great. And I, and I think something that agents can do if, um, you know, as they find that gap, Right. I think one thing they can do, um, and I did this even in preparation for today's show, I was like, there's so many things I could ask Jay today. I don't know what to do. I asked ChatGPT. I said, hey, what are the top 10 questions I should ask about a podcast where we're talking about the benefits of AI and ChatGPT for real estate? Right. So for agents, I think what they can do is find that gap, like you said, whether it's sales or efficiency or maybe their systems and strategies, and then just type it into chat GPT, say, Hey, I'm a real estate agent. This is the biggest gap in my business. What are some, how are some ways that I can utilize tools like chat GPT to solve that? Right? Yeah, absolutely. And today we'll talk about some specific tools um, mm -hmm. that will help you as a real estate agent uh, make the biggest impact in your business based on, um, on where you need the most support. The way you need to view chat GPT and AI is as a leverage tool. Mm. Um, you should, you know, now more than ever, we have to do more with less resources. We have to do more in less time. So in order to do that, we have to be more productive. We have to leverage ourselves in many different ways. And that's, that's the way to look at, um, at chat GPT. Right, right. Okay. So, um, what are some of your top recommendations or, or strategies to help agents do more with less and, and, and leverage AI tools? Sure. So, um, so let me start off with the basic, you know, chat GPT, everybody's heard that term. If you haven't, you must be under a rock. So, right. um, but if you're watching or listening to this podcast, I'm sure you have heard of it because you mm -hmm. know what a computer is. So communication is the key. It's like mm -hmm. anything else, you know, uh, the better input, you give the better result the better output you're going to get so if i ask my daughter which just happens to be sitting on the beanbag chair below me if i ask her a question um, and i don't get the output that i don't get the answer that i want then i need to ask that question differently or right. find another question to ask right mm. um so communication is the key um provide examples and be specific um, you should be polite. I always use please and thank you. Um, not only do I get better outputs, but just in case AI ends up taking over the world, they might spare me because I was right. nice to them. Always important. Yeah. And you can always improve your results by asking in a different way. You know, right. um, even just things like, please elaborate on that. Can sure. you write that again? Um, so yeah, chat GPT is a very, um, a very, easy way to get started. Mm -hmm. And if you really want the easy button to get started, then there's an extension, a Google Chrome extension called AIPRM. So AI P as in Paul R M. And that is an extension for chat GPT that will give you access to over 3000 different prompts. So where you just mm. search for the prompt and then you uh, and then you just type in there. I'll ask you a couple of questions and you'll be able to re receive. So, I mean, from marketing to sales scripting to 
um, productivity and leverage. There's just, you know, it, it just makes it much easier. So to recap that chat GPT, good inputs and being specific and then using the AI PRM Chrome extension with that. Awesome. I love that. And, and, and thanks for those tool recommendations there, Jay. Um, okay. So, so we've actually got a question from, from someone who's live, uh, Amanda Smith, she asks, and this is one of my questions too. She says, at what point do you stop AI for lead gen and start speaking directly to the prospect? My version of that question is how can tools like chat GPT and AI enhance the client experience without coming across as impersonal or automated or robotic, right? Because I think that's something real estate agents already kind of worry about, even when it's with like prospecting scripts or their email drips or texts or even conversations they have face to face, right? Um, so what are some ways they can leverage these tools while still being personal and still getting into uh, relationships, right? Because we are a relationship driven business. That's Awesome question, Amanda. Um, so I'm going to give uh, two answers that'll both be helpful. The first answer is um, AI should be a tool to support your efforts. Mm -hmm. So in your business and your specific audience, they're going to respond a certain way. Um, let's say, for example, you work with all investors. Well, a lot of those investors don't want to talk a lot of the time, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they just they want the information. So less uh, phone communication is necessary with that person, less personal communication um, by talking to that person. Um, so it depends on how your customer is, desires to be communicated with most effectively. Now, let me give you even better answer. Um, you can use ChatGPT or even better, a program called Jasper, J-A-S-P-E-R, mm -hmm. And Jasper, Jasper has something called brand voice. Mm. And what that means is you can, um, you can input a piece of content that you've written and it will analyze your voice and your tone. And you can upload some other documents that you've written and you have now taught that to speak like you because mm. yes the scariest thing is sending out you know uh an email uh, or a text message to somebody and you know they're like ah oh, geez this is a robot well mm -hmm. it's not gonna be a robot it's not meant to be a robot if you do it correctly and if you use jasper um and then there's also some prompts um that you can use in chat gpt for example write like me and then you ask a series of questions um but yeah, Jasper is the easy button for that. Okay, great. So um, let's, I mean, we've kind of talked high level, the tools, um, the resources, right? Let's get into maybe some specific actions that agents can take on a day-to-day -day basis to help stay ahead of the competition, to leverage this uh, to, the, to the fullest potential. If I'm a new agent, I'm waking up, it's Monday morning, uh, I've got a busy day ahead of me, um, what, what are some ways that I can use these tools, you know, starting with, uh, you know, my, my warm up calls or my first emails or conversations of the day or going through my paperwork, whatever. Okay, great. So um, I'm going to reference tools as I give the examples because that's yeah. the, the easiest way and probably the most beneficial because y'all can look into those tools too. Um, Again, I'm going to defer to Jasper on on one of these. Um, I am not a good email writer. I'm not a good writer in general. Um, I have a hard time. I have to keep going back to it, uh, to, to what I'm writing, wondering if I'm communicating effectively or if I'm writing in a way that is too uh, complex, right? You mm. know, just not simplified. So um, a tool like Jasper has a Chrome extension. And when you're in your Gmail, you can click on uh, the Jasper button and uh, it'll have different options. One of them is improve writing. Mm. So you can highlight your email, click on improve writing, and it'll make the whole thing better. Or you can tell Jasper or ChatGPT, I want to send an email to a customer with this in mind, right? And it'll create that email for you. Um, Jasper 
and other programs out there also have a finish the sentence or finish the email functionality, which is it just shows a little button as you're typing and you click the button and it'll go and it'll keep finishing what you're writing. So that increases right. productivity significantly. And it's a very mm. small learning curve um, to use that. So um, so that's one way, definitely. Another way is um, if you're doing presentations mm. for, um, for, let's say, a home buying presentation, or if you want to do a home buying presentation, you can use a program called, I don't know if it's pronounced Tomi or Tome, but it's spelt t-o-m-e okay. and that uh that software will allow you to create a presentation uh it'll add the images it'll add wow. the title it'll add the um the content it'll do the entire thing for you uh all you have to do is again the better input you give it the better output you're gonna get so that's another way. Um, let me give you a third way, which there's so many, but these are like the top three that come to my mind. Okay. Um, man, there's this there's this program that's blown me away now called Opus Clips or Opus Clip. Um, we have a very challenging time to, you know, we know we have to be top of mind, right? Top mm -hmm. of mind awareness to our current audience and to our potential audience. Um, but we don't have the time to create video or we don't know where to start. You know, mm. my fr the first video that I created for my audience, it, I was selling real estate in, uh, and had my property management company. And I was doing a two minute video on how to um, how to know when your tenant is moving out of your property. I, I don't even remember the damn title, but this was like eight years ago. You know, for that two minute video. Would you believe it took me 88 takes, 88 takes like that's how picky I was. And a lot of real estate agents are like that still. And that's OK. Um, but you don't have to be with Opus Clip. So say, for example, you um, you want to do a video about the top 10 restaurants in your area for buyers then you can ask chat GPT to write you a script for that. Then once you have the script, you just record yourself free flowing. Don't worry if you make any mistakes. Don't worry if uh, if don't about stopping the video and starting it again. You take that recording, you upload it to Opus Clip, and that will do all the work for you. It'll cut the video into multiple different uh, pieces of content. It'll insert the captions. It will create the uh, a compelling. Uh, title or headline mm. to the video. It'll uh, produce it for YouTube shorts or any platform that you're posting it on. And you literally don't have to do anything but upload that video. That's how easy it is. These are significant ways to leverage because we know when we create video, we stay top of mind. We can send out those videos in email campaigns, which by the way, ChatGPT or Jasper or a ton of other tools can write those email campaigns for us. Um, you know, we can post them on uh, on social media. We can do so many different things with them, and that just creates massive leverage for us. I love that. I love that. These are some great tools, Jay. Um, so, and 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 again, to our audience, um, there's a lot here. We're going over a lot. Like Jay said, there's so many tools out there. There's so many ways to leverage AI. If you have any questions, please put them in. Tony asked, um, AI PRM, can you explain? Uh, uh, we went over that, Tony. It's just a Google extension for ChatGPT, right? Um, that helps streamline some of that. Um, so great. Yeah, but if you have any other questions, please put them in and, and we'll pass them along to Jay here. Um, Jay, what else? I mean, we've talked about a lot of great ways that that agents can uh, uh, and use use AI and leverage things like Chat, chat GPT. Um, what else do you have for them? Well, I mean, what else uh, do you think that they should be looking at and using uh, to to enhance their business? Yeah. So there's so one thing that um, that gets us stuck that is so important in this. And again, I go back to the better the input, the better the output. 
Mm. Well, the problem with the input is sometimes we don't know what questions to ask. Mm. So you have to have what we call prompts and you have to have good prompts. Um, and they, there's literally, there, there can be hundreds of thousands of different prompts. It's just all, all on how you put the right words together in the right place. So having the right prompts, asking the right questions is so important to getting uh, the right answers. Um, I have a prompt book that I've put together, which has uh, content uh, prompts, marketing, sales, uh, SOPs, uh, efficiency, productivity, blogs, like there's probably hundreds, well, there is hundreds of prompts uh, in there. Um, and many of them are specific to real estate agents. And I can share that in a little bit. Um, but let me, um, let me take this one step further for any team leaders or um, gr agents that are looking to grow. There's, um, there's a tool out there. Well, there's, you know, a number of them, but I'm going to just tell you one called Scribe, S-C-R-I-B-E. Um, if you're looking to create step-by-step -step processes or, um, well, yeah, step-by-step -step processes for your team members, um, th all right, let me give you a great use case scenario for any agent. You don't even have to be a team leader or, or someone who's looking to grow. Um, you want to leverage more time? Hire a remote team member uh, or AKA a virtual assistant and that remote team member in order to have them do what you need them to do effectively, then they need really to follow good step-by-step -step processes. Mm -hmm. A program like scribe can do exactly that. Um, you, it follows you, you click the button, it follows you, it takes screenshots, it documents the exact steps that you took for something. It builds a training manual. Now, wow. not only just for a, team or a remote team member, but you can use this for buyers and sellers as well. If you want to explain to them a, diff a specific process of what you're going to be doing with them, I'm going to show you X amount of homes. We're going to, uh, you know, first I'm going to, we're going to, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Then we're going to, I'm going to show you homes. Then we're going to write an offer. Then we have this, you can create a step-by-step -step with them and do it in such a, uh, collapsed amount of time. That's great. I love that. I love that. And um, it seems like a lot of the strategies and a lot of the tools and a lot of the things that we're talking about right here are very content centric, right? It's about creating content that, that drives attention. Um, are there, is there anything else or any other use cases or even success stories that you've seen with your agents that you train and coach of maybe some, some other creative ways that they've used, uh, AI tools um, in, in their businesses? Yeah, I mean, you can ask um, questions that relate to work-life balance, mm. right? If you if you want to get, um, if you want to have more work-life balance, I have even some prompts in front of me on that kind of stuff. Um, developing training programs, uh, health and fitness, uh, personal assistant. You know, it's interesting that um, ChatGBT has plugins and mm -hmm. not many people are aware of this, but they have thousands of plugins and two of the plugins that are featured are kayak and Expedia. And they are so tuned in that they significantly, if you're going to go on a vacation, they significantly reduce the amount of time that it takes to plan out that vacation. Mm -hmm. Um, does all the work for you, does the updating for you. Um, if you're uh, if you're branding, this is really important uh, and a use case that um, that I've coached a lot of other agents through that don't have a personal brand. Mm. Um, you can create your personal brand with um, there's Luca L O O K A that will help you create your logo. Uh, coolers C O O L O R S will help you identify the colors. Um, and then there's, uh, some other tools as well. That'll help you create a personal brand and, uh, and be able to, uh, communicate yourself more effectively and, uh, and reach your audience. 
So all of those things come together, but you have to, again, all goes back to the beginning. You have to identify what's the one thing that's going to have the biggest impact. Do you need mm -hmm. to be more productive? Start there and just work on a, on something that's uh, that's going to help you with productivity. And really the easiest way is using something like Jasper. And I know I keep saying Jasper, but I've used a lot of the other tools out there. And, right. uh, and that one just seems to be, um, the best for that purpose. Absolutely. And I, I agree with you, Jay. I use, um, I think Jasper and chat GPT are the two primary ones that I use in my day-to-day -day job, right? Preparing for this podcast, for instance, right. Um, that, that have made such a big difference. So, um, so I appreciate you, uh, uh, you know, mentioning those and giving us so many great examples of how to implement those in our business. Um, Someone from Mississippi is asking, what are those three tools again? I think the three that you mentioned in our last mm -hmm. part here. Um, I know I mentioned, uh, I know I mentioned Scribe, uh, Tome, T-O-M-E is, is another one. Right. Opus Clip is another one, O-P-U-S Clip, um, Jasper. Luca, I think, and Cool. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's right. Luca, L-O-O-K-A, Cooler, C-O-O-L-O-R-S. Um, and believe it or not, I mean, some people don't associate Canva with being mm. an AI tool, but, you know, AI is being incorporated in every business, okay? Um, every business that wants to stay in business anyway. Right. Um, and, and the ones that are ahead of the curve are doing it now. Canva has... Um, several AI functions um, already pre-programmed in there, like magic eraser, background remover. Um, mm. it, there's several others as well. And um, I'm going to be putting out some trainings and some videos on specific use cases where I take agents step by step through how to create 30 social media posts in 30 minutes with images and text and it's all speaking from your language how to take any reviews and testimonials that you have to create um to create an about us page on your website um to create your unique value propositions to your audience um there's really so much but i do keep one i do want to keep going back to do not overwhelm yourself start with one thing at a time and this is the coach in me talking um you can't you can't bite off too much you have to start small absolutely yep. great advice jay so um we're kind of running up on time here but you've mentioned all these resources and, and things that you're putting together that that probably has a really good summary and even a more in-depth analysis of everything we've talked about today where can people go to get those resources jay yeah, um, so they can go to repromptguide.com. So RE as in real estate, prompt, P-R-O-M-P-T, guide, G-U-I-D-E.com. Um, essentially, that's a database of, uh, a searchable database of all of the best prompts out there. So that way you can, um, you know, type in blog in the search bar and it'll give you the prompts that uh that you can use for a blog type in uh you know email subject lines uh whatever it is you type it in and it'll uh take you to it wonderful wonderful well i feel like we've talked about so much and at the same time we barely scratched the surface because this is kind of a never-ending topic with never-ending you know problem solving and solutions and so many ways that I think agents can implement AI tools into their businesses. Um, but if you were to leave them with, with just one last piece of advice, kind of some closing words here, Jay, uh, uh, what would those be? Evolve or die. Mm. Yep. Simple. If, I love it. If you're not, if you're not incorporating this in your business, if you're not taking steps towards it, you will be out of business. True. I couldn't agree with yeah. you more. Excellent. Well, um, 
I think that's all the time we have uh, today, everybody. Jay, thank you so much for coming on and sharing all these amazing amazing tools and strategies and hacks with, with our audience today. To our audience, if you missed part of today's episode or if you want to go back, um, again, we covered so much, go back and revisit this and, and take notes and write down everything Jay talked about today. Um, please go find us on YouTube, uh, find this video. Uh, you can find us on anywhere, podcasts are available, Spotify, Apple, Google, wherever, um, and catch a replay of this episode because I agree with Jay, you evolve or you die. And this is going to be a great place um, for you to get the resources that will help you evolve and evolve your real estate business. So Jay, thank you so much. And to everyone out there, please join us again next Thursday, same time, same place. We'll talk to you later. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks, guys. See you.